Owning a Squarespace website comes with many perks. Hi, I'm Sophia from sophiaoja.com and today I want to talk about cover pages. Cover pages are these pre-designed layouts that allow you to quickly deploy a new page on your site. These cover pages can be used for various purposes, whether it's announcing the publication of a new book, collecting emails for your newsletter, or announcing a new product or service release, even a coming soon page, and of course, thank you pages. I'm going to show you examples of these so that you have some inspiration and can deploy these cover pages for your own website. A creative way of using cover pages is for your 404 page. This is the page that shows up when somebody lands on a broken link or a page not found. And here is a cover page from 38visuals.com and you can see this is a very creative way. She added a photo of a cat making a little bit fun and just making light of the situation. Well, this is awkward. And then she links people to her shop, to her blog, and a way to connect with her. Here's another 404 page from mariahcause.com. And this is very creative. You can see it just says, oops, record broken. And it's a 404 page. She links people to get back to the blog or to the home page. And here's a thank you page again from 38visuals.com. And here she welcomes people once they sign up to her opt-in and a link here to submit a question. Here is a cover page from my own website, sophiaoja.com. And this is the page that people land on when they have opted into something and they still have to confirm. So it says one more thing. Glad you subscribed. Now to receive my emails, there's one more hoop to jump through basically encouraging people to click on the confirm button when they receive the confirmation email. Here is a cover page by my very good friend and colleague Marta Raptis and she makes it very beautiful here as well and encouraging people to check their inbox and confirm their seat to the free masterclass that she's holding. So. If you want to check out her free masterclass, go to mataraptis.com and you'll see a link to the free masterclass there. Here is a nice cover page by insidethesquare.co and once you sign up to her opt-in, you get this page, smart move, get ready to like Tuesdays a whole lot more. And uh, that's when her email ships out on Tuesdays. And she links here to her YouTube channel and to her blog posts. A very creative way of using cover pages as a thank you page once somebody opts in. Here's a thank you page on my website. Again, when somebody signs up, they get this thank you page. This is one example of it. And I say you are in and then check out the best thing you can do for your business. I link them to a blog a particular blog post on my blog. Here is another cover page and this one is used for anyone who signs up for my free live training, Five Essentials. They get this page as a confirmation that their spot is reserved and then I link it to my blog here so the conversation keeps going. As you can see in all of these thank you pages, there is always a momentum to keep the conversation going forward. So it's very important to have some kind of a link or button. So once they arrive on the cover page, they continue the conversation with your website, with your brand, and you take them to the next page, next thing you want them to do. Here's a cover page by 99stclair.com. And here is a very creative way of introducing a quiz. So ready to start your business adventure, find your path with the help of our interactive quiz. So here's a button that would take people to the quiz. Otherwise, no thanks. It goes back to her website. You can also use cover pages for an online event, a free masterclass or a live training. This one is from reflectionpond.com where the event is how to break karmic patterns. 
and people can sign up here. Yes, I'm in or go to the blog. This is a cover page as a confirmation for those who want updates on my free live training. When the next training is held, people will then get an update. So this is what it looks like. And then they can click on go back to the blog. And finally, here is a thank you page for those who sign up for email updates when my online course opens up for enrollment. And here I use the lighthouse image, which kind of keeps with the host your online course branding where I have all kinds of different images of lighthouses. This just tells them that they will get email updates as soon as the course opens up for enrollment again. And again, the conversation keeps going. They click here and it goes back to my blog. So this gives you a visual idea of what cover pages can be used for different uses for different businesses. You can add your own style and branding and make it your own. And these are wonderful ways to add some pizzazz to your website. So my friend, I hope that this gives you plenty of inspiration to go and use cover pages for any purpose that you currently have in your business. If you'd like to receive more tips and strategies on how to optimize your Squarespace website, sign up to my free newsletter called Squarespace Tips. Just go to sophiaoja.com forward slash Squarespace tips. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.